I'm Mr. Olympia, Lee Haney. Being Mr. Olympia isn't an easy feat. It's taken me several years in order to develop an awesome set of prize-winning thighs. If you want to stay in number one position, you have to always keep one leg up on the competition. Legs is an extremely important body part, and without them, the physique is not complete. In the video you're about to see, I'll be giving you several routines that'll show you how to build mass and strength in the lower body. We're going to start first at the top of the thigh and work our way down. So, without further delay, let's rock and roll. Consult your physician before you start exercising with Lee Haney. Follow the exercises carefully. Exercise at your own pace. Start with very light weights. If you feel any strain, stop immediately and consult your physician. Now we're going to begin our frontal thigh exercise. We're going to start first with leg extension, then we're going to move directly into front squats. Okay, right, here we go, on. Dave. Let's go. We got the Let's weight set, right? Yeah, it's all set. Here come we go. On. We're going to first begin with leg extension. We're going to warm the knees up using a lighter weight and then working our way up, okay? Here we go. Come on. Let's we're rock and roll. We're going to try to get at least 12 to 15 repetitions in. Good. Okay, we want to come up and really flex and squeeze at the top of the movement. This really, really penetrates the smaller muscle fibers in there. Here we go. Big contraction. Real big contraction. Good. Come on. Yeah. Good. Squeeze. Warming them up. Yeah. Warm them up. Yeah. Squeeze. That's it. Yeah. You want to try to kick it through the ceiling. Good. Throw it right Squeeze. through the ceiling. Yeah. Good. Come on. Yeah. Squeeze. That's it. Yeah. It's nice. nice. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Squeeze. Yeah. Good. All right. Just set, right. baby. Let's go. Come on. Gonna make you number one, even right. if it kills you. Right. Let's go. Come on, easy way. <sighs> Come on. Yeah. <sighs> Come on, squeeze it at the top. I like that, Dave. That's perfect. That's perfect. Come on, squeeze it. Kick it through the ceiling. Come on. Yeah. I like that. You're really isolating the front of thigh. Come on. Yeah. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, these are the best days of your life. Come on. Get it out. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, come on, yeah. All right, all right, okay. We're throwing a few more pounds here. Right. Come on. Moving Let's up, go. hey, here we go. Okay. Come on. All right, rocking and rolling. That's it, that's the only way to do it. Yeah. Come on, train hard. But yeah, it's getting that's heavy it. now, so it's getting good, right? It's good. <laughs> Nothing like it. That means yeah. you're growing, you're getting bigger. Come on. Yeah. Good. Come on, yeah. squeeze them. That's yeah. it. Good. That feels great. Yeah. That's great. Come on. Yeah. Good. Come on. Yeah. Squeeze him. Come on. Come on. He's gonna make you yeah. number one. Come on. Woo! Mr. Olympia. Come on. Great, squeeze baby. him. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Squeeze. Come on. Really squeeze yeah. on the top. That's it. Squeeze. Yeah. Good. All right. Come Just on. set, baby. Let's go. Woo! Our way out of the trailway. Come on. Come either on. way. Come on. Yeah. Squeeze it. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Make sure you get that negative end, Dave. Yeah. Come on. I'm with you, baby. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Give me some more. Yeah. Come on. Three more. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. All right. My set. Woo. You really want to see me grow, huh? Think about it. <laughs> Come on, man. If this doesn't kill you, it'll make you strong. Come on. That's my grandpa used to always say. <laughs> well, one of the others is going to happen. I'll tell you yeah. that. That's right. Come on. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Really get the blood in there. Yeah. Good. Rip them out. Come on. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Rip them. Come on. That's it. Woo! I'm Squeeze. I'm trying to get at least three to four sets. But, Come on. you know, the shorter time is. So we're going to knock out at least two more reps. One. One. Come on. Get it up. Two. Good. All right. Okay, Dave, what we're going to do now 
we're gonna move right into frontal squats, okay? So let's let's take this take this attachment loose. This is an awesome machine, isn't it? It's good. Real awesome. Everything combined in one. Okay, now we're gonna move right into frontal squats. We're setting up the bar. Hey, let's grab a couple Wait. quarters, Dave. All right. By quarters, you mean 25, right, Lee? 25, we're talking <laughs> bodybuilding talk now. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Here we go. Woo! Let's go, baby. All right. Make sure we put the clamps on. Make sure we put the clamps on. You gotta always think safety when you're doing this, okay? Here we go, baby. Woo! Okay, watch me like a heart attack patient, okay? Let's go. Come on, man. <laughs> don't let nothing happen to mama's baby. I won't. Woo! Come on, man. Okay. I'm in the board, man. You have Squeeze them on the top. It's perfect like form. Notice we're going down control. When we come up to the top, we want to squeeze and flex the muscle. Really flex it so we can penetrate the fiber. Here we go. Come on. Squeeze it. Good. Good. Nice, slow, controlled movement. Good. Come on. Man. Good, man. Come on. Good. Really burn that front side. Come on. I can feel it working. Good. Come on. Good. Come on, man. Squeeze it. Come on. Squeeze it. Come on, man. Squeeze it. That's it. Woo! All right. All right, baby. All right, man. Here we go. Okay. Woo! All right. Way to go. Way to go. I like that. Yeah. Come on. That's good. It's a little lesser than shoulder width or closer together. I don't want to get too wide. I want to make sure that all of the thigh is involved in this movement. Let's go. Yeah. Squeeze it out at the top. Don't snap it out. Squeeze it out, amateur. Don't snap it out. Squeeze it out. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Squeeze it out. Yeah. Come on. Squeeze it out. Yeah. Come on. I like that. Come on. Yeah, give me two more. Come on. Yeah, that's what's gonna make you number one. Come on, get mad about it. Come on. Yeah. All right, baby. Woo. Tell you what, let's throw another five on these side. Okay. I tell you what, let's make that a dime. All right, let's make it a dime. Bodybuilding talk. We're talking tens, okay? I tell you, my front thighs are burning, Lee. Woo! I hope yours are. Me too, baby. Come on, man. Let's get right in. <laughs> that's gonna be four four miles in a wheelchair. Let's go. Right. Come on. Come on, Mr. Rowe. Best set, best set. Come on. Good. Come on. Nice and controlled. Good. Come on. Good. I'm going to try to get at least three to four sets of these. Come on. But seeing that we're pushing time. Push them. That's it. Come on. Squeeze them. I got this last one. Squeeze them. For man. you, my fans. Come on, love ya. Come on, baby. Show them. Come on. Yeah. Good. Come on, Lee. Show them. Yeah. Perfect form, man. Perfect. Yeah, Come on, all right. All right. Next, we're going to be doing squats, which is very important for building mass and strength in the lower body. I also recommend using some type of knee wrap for extra protection. All right. Are you ready? So let's rock and roll. Okay, very important to use knee wraps. Really save the joints and, and ligaments. Some people say, where well, I'm at. there again. It's always been my philosophy. It's not every day you're gonna be walking around squatting 200, 300, or 400 pounds. So let's give, give the joints a little extra protection, okay? All right. Okay, ready to go? All right. Good. Come on, let's okay. go. Come on, man. Come on, okay. big legs. Come on. Okay, this is fairly easy weight. All right, come on. Okay. Break it down. Come on. Nice. Good. Good. Come on, man. Good, man. Always big keep legs. the back straight. Good. Come on, down up like a piston. Come on. Good. 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 Come on. Good. Come there on. There we go. Right. There we go. Okay, six to eight repetitions is great on squats, whereas uh, leg extensions, so forth, we're looking at 12 to 15. Let's go, Dave. Easy weight, come on. Let's go, I'm with you. Easy weight. Come on. That's 
good form, very good. I like that, that's super. Super, that's good. Super, all right. Good. Keep those heels on the floor. That's good. All right. Okay, let's, let's, another, let's do another 25 on. Also, be sure to put the collars on this time. It was a very dangerous mistake we've just made. Always use your collars. You can never be too safe. Never take anything for granted. No, that wasn't a lot of weight that we used, but there again, Come could on, easily man. have slid off. Come on, man. Let's we have go. to always keep that in mind. Come on. Always. Come on. Safety is always the number one factor. Come on, man. You're good. Come on. Big legs. Good. Come on. Good, man. Come on, Lee. Bang him out. Bang him out, Lee. Come on. Good. Come on, Lee. Grind it. Nice. Come on. Good. Make them count. Make every rep count. Come on, man. Good, man. Come on. Woo! All right. All right. That feels very good. Nice, nice. All right. Let's go, baby. Let's, Let's go, man. Woo! Let's go. How you feeling? Pretty good? I feel great. That's what it's all about. Come on. Yeah, we're going so wide now. That's good. That's okay. Next time we want to bring those feet in a little. We want to bring more than the thigh into play. Not a power lifter. You're a bodybuilder. Want to get all the thigh involved. The wider you go, the more stress you put on the glutes. You want to work those thighs. All four here. That's good. Come on. Come on. Perfect. Perfect. Squats are very important for building mass and also strength in the lower body. But then there are other variations. One is hack squats and the other is sissy squats. These are excellent for building overall definition and quality in the thigh. It's very concentrated. All right, here we go. Come on, Lee. Squeeze it. Good. See, what we're doing at the top, we're flexing the thigh out. We're flexing the thigh. We're coming down in a controlled way. Come up, flex and squeeze. Always in control. Yeah, always Good. in control. Proper technique is the most important. Yeah. Want to get Come at on. least 12 reps. Good. Yeah. Come on, man. Oh, Good. it feels great. They're warmed up now, I know that. <laughs> yeah. Good. Come on. Squeeze. Squeeze them. Good. Squeeze. Yeah, Good. Squeeze. Come on. Yeah, Good. Squeeze. Come on, Lee. Squeeze. Yeah, Good. Squeeze. squeeze. Good. Oh, all, all right. right. This is super set. Come on, okay. Man. Let's go. Woo! It's great. Great. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Come on David. Get it up. Squeeze yeah. it on the top. Come on. Squeeze it. Yeah, yeah we want to ease it out now. Ease it out. Squeeze them out. That's right. Come on, ease it out, squeeze it out. Do not snap the, the joint. Do not snap the joint. Squeeze it out. Come on, and also push off on the heel. Notice I was pushing off on the heel. By doing so, you really be able to isolate that thigh and bring all of the muscle fiber into play. Come on. Yeah, that's great. Come on, give me two more. Yeah. All right, one more. Yeah. All right, great, great. Okay. Here we go, one more set. Oh, Last set, best set. We want to try to get at least three to four sets of these. But we're being pushed for time. Come Let's on. Let's rock and roll. That's it. On into They're pumped now. two, okay? Come on, Come baby. on. I like that. Come on. Notice we don't need a lot of weight when performing this movement. Yeah. Okay. I noticed you coming up on the heels. I wasn't doing that. Exactly. Good, I can you really something see something new. I see it you working. You just learned something. I yeah. did. And also, you can vary the angle. Okay, now we're going to point the toes outward. Okay. You know, I see it working a lot out. more. When you oh, come straight up ahead. Hips. Straight ahead. Yeah. Come on, Lee. Come on, Lee. Let's go, man. Squeeze. Squeeze them. Good. Squeeze. Come on. Squeeze. Squeeze. Oh. Notice I'm not snapping or jerking. Yeah, it's very controlled. Yeah, I'm flexing it out. Very concentrated. Even it out. Good. Come on. This is yeah. a real mind to muscle exercise, oh. huh, Lee? Yeah. You really got to feel exactly. it. Exactly. Come on. That's why it's not necessary to use all of that weight. All right. All right, baby, let's right. finish up here. What we're going to do next, we'll go right into sissy squats. Okay. And believe me. I figures you picked me for this workout, <laughs> huh? You trying believe to tell me, me something? A sissy will not be able to do these. All this right. is a very tough exercise. Okay, let me see. And what it requires is only your body weight, okay? All right. You're trying to tell me we're something. We're going to bring the heel slightly inward. Now, as we come down, we want to lean on the toes, okay? As okay. we come up. Flex and squeeze and push off on the heel. Okay. 
Okay. This is what we did when we were doing the hacks. Okay. You want to lean your body backwards? Or forward? Exactly. Okay. A little back. You want to lean your body backwards. Okay. Like so. Wow, that looks real concentrated. Very concentrated. Good. Yeah. Squeeze them. Oh, yes, that's excellent. This is a real mind muscle link, huh? You really have Ooh, to. Ooh, man. <laughs> this would be a very intense. event. <laughs> very intense. Good. Wow. If your mind isn't into these, forget about it, right? That's right. You really have to feel you these. Really burn them. You're really able to isolate that frontal thigh. Good. Yeah. Come on. Really and burn them. you get used to this movement, you can start adding a little extra weight, like maybe 5, 10, uh -huh. 25. How many reps do you normally do with these? I want to try to get at least 12 to 15. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. That's a killer. I see it burning. Come on, oh, lady. Yeah. Good. Come on. Good. Come on, man. Yeah. Squeeze them. Ugh. Get into it. Yeah. That's it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Let's go. Your All set. Right. Last All set, right. best set. All right. Come on. All right. Now bring the feet in closer. Bring them in closer. Okay. Point the toes slightly in. Here All we right. go. Squeeze them. <sighs> All right. Lean the body into it. Push up <sighs> on the heel. Push up on the heel. <sighs> That's better. Push off on the heels and squeeze. <sighs> this time we're gonna be doing leg presses, which is excellent for isolating the thigh and also building mass. Then we're gonna move directly into leg curls. Are we ready, Pete? Let's do it, Lee. Come on. Go. All right, baby. Let's keep blasting. Again, we're gonna start with a lighter weight, then we're gonna work our way up. Here we go. Yes. Notice, Pete, when we come up, we wanna flex the thigh to push off on the heels. You like to go to a full lockout position. A full lockout. Or a full squeeze out. Squeeze out. Okay. Yes. Gonna knock out at least 12 repetitions. 10 to 12. Come on, Lee. Come down with control, squeeze on the way up. I notice you're really pushing with your heels. Yeah, see what's happening, Pete? Most of the stress on the way down is on the feet, then it's on the back of the foot, then it shifts to fall, towards the front. Right. Then as we're coming up, we start from the front and switch to the back. Get see? a little bit more of a squeeze on that. Exactly. Way. Yes. Beautiful. Come on, Lee. Come on, Lee. That's it. That's it. All right, here we go, Pete. You're set. Here we go. Come on. Woo! I tell you what, Pete. It's really hard talking in between these <laughs> sets, you know? All right. Come on, baby. Here we go. Squeeze it out at the top. Squeeze it out. Oh, yeah. yeah, I can feel it. Come on. Squeeze Extra it out. squeeze at the top. Super. Yeah. Come on. Squeeze it out. Squeeze it out. Come on, squeeze in. Yeah, that's it. See, by doing so, we're really able to really penetrate the muscle fiber there. You see, you can actually feel it. I feel it down to the bone. So one rep equals two. Come on. Okay. Come on. Oh, All right, I'll tell you what, Pete. Throw another 45 on. I'm going to make a slight adjustment here because I want to feel a little extra pinch at the bottom. Just a little extra pinch. There we go. Got All right. Well, let's, throw a, let's throw a 35 and a 10 out, OK? We can compensate. That's Somebody it, baby. stole one of our 45. Same diff. All right, come on. Same diff. Let's do Here it. We go. Let's do it. All right. So you're getting a little bit more of a tighter uh, motion. Exactly. Here we go. Another right, 90 pounds. Huh? Here we go. I'll tell you this. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a great yeah. piece of equipment uh, for a home gym. I mean, it, it doubles as a leg press and a hack squat machine. Yeah. And it's very smooth. Yeah. All right, come on, Lee. Oh, yeah. That's it. Come on. Let's hit it now, man. Let's yes. hit it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. All right. Come on. Oh, Peter. Keep, keep going. Keep going. Come on. I'm going. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'll swallow before I let you see it happen. Come on. <laughs> yes. Come on. All right. Yes. All right. Yeah. He's blasting. Yeah. He is blasting. All right. Woo! You're, You're set, baby. Let's go. Right. Oh, man, what a killer. Come on. Oh, it's OK if it don't kill you to make you strong, right? Oh. Let's go, baby. Let's rock and roll. Come on. Oh. Squeeze. That's great. Come on. Squeeze. That's great. I notice as Peter's coming down, he's still in control of the negative, which is very, very important. Oh. Always be in control of the negative. <clears throat> I've known a lot of people involved in weight training while doing leg presses, 
they allow the knees to come down oh. and smash their rib cage. Oh, that man. That can be very dangerous. Come on, Pete. I'm going into the danger zone here, Lee. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yes. Come on, baby. I like that. Give me two more, Pete. Oh. Yes. One more. Oh. Yes. Oh, yeah. Come on. Whew. All right, baby. That's it. Oh. Tell you what, Pete. Let's move right into the leg curls next. We've blasted the front of thigh. Now we hit the hamstrings, OK? Woo! Still rocking and rolling. OK. We sit around 40 pounds, which is great. We're going to start with a lighter weight and work our way up, right? As usual. That's the way. All right, Lee. Our way on the prayer way, right? All right, come on. OK, baby. That's it. Woo! This is a good squeezer, huh? Excellent squeezer. Squeeze. Yes. All right. We're going to come up, flex the hamstrings at the top, come down using good control. I always get that negative in. Yes. Beautiful. He really squeezes. Yes. You can see, really see your hamstrings working, yes. man. That convoluted mass right there. Yes. We want to knock out at least 10 to 12 All reps right. here, Pete. 10 to Come 12. On. Let's see you do it. Leg man. press we're looking at. 8 to 10. 8 to 10 reps on the leg. Yes. 8 to 10 reps. Sets anywhere between four peaks. Yes. One more. All right. Oh, man, that's good. Pete, I'm sweating like a pig all over the bench. You know, <laughs> I would advise, you know, unless you, you're in love with me, you know? <laughs> no, that's all right. I don't want to swap you. <laughs> Nothing like laying on another know. joke of nasty sweat, is it? Come on, Pete, let's go. Come on. Squeeze that. Yeah, I like that. Oh. He's getting a very good negative in there. Always in control. Always link. The mind and the muscle together. You can really oh, see him work. Come on. Oh. I also notice Peter's keeping his butt on the bench or keeping his hips locked to the bench. And never allow anybody to apply pressure to the lower back while doing these. And which I notice a lot of you amateurs out there have a tendency to do from time to time. Come on. Yes. Oh, OK, man. Pete, my oh, set. Make sure, you, felt good. make sure you say, come on. Pete, I'm not in love with you either. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, we're brothers of iron, but, but, okay, you know, man, Whew. here we go. Okay, Lee, come on, let's come step on. it up now, man. Yes. Let's step it up. Okay, watch me, Pete, watch me. You definitely ain't gonna love me after this set. I'm gonna make it work, man. Come on. Woo. Kill let's me. go. Kill nice me. It. Hold it. Come on. Yeah. Nice, Nick. Nice, Nick. Come on. Nice, Nick. That's yes. All right. Look at me. Look at me. Yes. Look at me. It's great. Come yes. Right. Good. Come on, Lee. Woo! That's it. Oh, yeah. It's hard to see your hamstrings in the yes. mirror. That's why you got to work them extra hard. Come on. Yes. Come on, Lee. Yes. Yes. Oh! Woo! You got it, right? You go, Pete. You're set, baby. <laughs> yeah, I'm finished. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Pete. Let's finish knocking this set out. OK. Let's go. Now we'll continue our workout, but this time we're going to be doing stiff leg deadlifts, which is excellent for adding length and also size to the hamstring muscles. There again, we're going to use a pyramid principle. We're starting with a lighter weight and working our way up. Okay. okay? Can't emphasize the importance of pyramiding enough. Very important. Very important safety factor. Okay? Straighten the hamstring. Head up. Up. Squeeze. I'm lower the bar. My glutes together exactly. when I come up. You're squeezing the glutes and the lower back. So what you're doing, you're working the back as well as the hamstring. Squeeze. Down. Squeeze. You're doing roughly around 10 to 12 repetitions here. Always get a good stretch at the bottom. I don't know yeah, my just, elbows up. Exactly. Just keep the arms relaxed. OK. Here we go. All right, you're set. OK. It's great that you're using the dumbbells, because some people prefer dumbbells to the bar. And dumbbells is, I would say, is a little bit more comfortable for ladies than men. Do my feet go together or apart? So Shoulder width, just apart a little is, is enough. It all depends on what you feel the most. That's good. 
That's real good. That's good. Arching that lower back. That's perfect. Perfect. Very good form. Excellent. What about a belt? <laughs> well, see, we're not using a lot of weight now. It's always important to use a belt to protect the lower back. But since we're just, you know, getting to warming up, and we're not going to be using a lot of weight, and it's not necessary. It's perfect. Perfect. Very good. Okay, super, super. Okay, I'm going to throw in about 10 more pounds here. If you help slap that on for me. It's great. All right. Now we're set to go a little higher. As I said, we're using the pyramid principle. So now that the hamstring is slightly warm from doing leg curls and that first set of stiff legs, we can move up in weight. Strong set. Always squeezing that lower back. That brings about the Christmas tree effect. Weight training for the legs just doesn't stop in the gym. There's no excuse why you should be able to get a great workout also at home. Today I'll show you several exercises that'll allow you to build a nice set of shapely thighs right there in your home. This time we're gonna be using dumbbells. Again, we're gonna start with a lighter weight and work our way up. It's no different than using the barbell, but there is a very important safety factor involved here. When you don't have a training partner and you're training at home, this is the perfect way to do it. Here we go. Up, Come on. Up, Again, you got to keep the back straight. The same way you would be doing regular squats. Always in control. Squeezing. No need for a spotter either. No need for a spotter. One thing about this, if you can't control the weight, you can always drop it. Just don't drop I'm not going to hold in the floor, but you know, just be careful with the toe. Yeah. Hold the floor. You live on the upstairs floor. <laughs> <laughs> Take off a neighbor. Oh man, this feels great. We're working towards two sets, 10 to 12 repetitions. All right, this feels great. Beautiful. Looks like the perfect form. And so you notice we're using a narrow stance. By doing so, we're able to bring more of the muscle into play. It really involves the entire quadricep region. All right, you're set, Pete. Let's rock and roll, right, baby. Come, come on. It's great, great. You know, this is only 30 pounds, but believe me, it feels a lot heavier because of where the the uh, the weight is being shifted as you're as you're squatting. It really feels about like uh, what do you say, Pete? About 135. Yeah, it feels kind of like a hack squat. It does. Very good. I tell you what, it's got me breathing like crazy. <laughs> Sweating too for the first set. Come on. Oh. Straight. Come on, squeeze yeah. them out at the top. Oh. All right. Tell Get you what, we're gonna, we're gonna go up the weight a little, a little bit more, Pete. Let us let's increase the weight. Move up to at least 45 pound dumbbells now. Here we go, baby. All right. Knees a little warmer now. Let's pump them out. Wonderful. You know I'm lying, right, Pete? A little burning, really. A <laughs> burn? I think I just ripped my thighs. <laughs> Woo! Man, it feels. <laughs> Same difference. Something ripped. Come on. Come on, Lee. Let's do it. Come on. Man, that feels great. All right. Oh, Pete, I'm glad it's your set. I'm real happy it's your set. Let's go, baby. So much. Let's rock and roll. Woo! Tell you what, man, I'm feeling a fantastic pump on my frontal thigh. Come on. Come on, Pete, take your time. You see, this amateur is trying to rush the exercise because he don't want to feel it. He want to hurry up and get it done with so he can go out and have a beer or something. <laughs> the way of amateur. Let's go, baby. That's it. You got to think about it. Got to think about it. Yeah. Come on. Squeeze it. 
Tell you what, Pete, I'm gonna bump it up a little bit more weight here. Let's uh, move up to 55. Let's take at least a 10 pound jump on each leg, okay? Total of 20 pound jumps, which is what I would recommend when doing squats also. Let's say barbell squats to be specific. Here we go. Okay, come on, Lee. It's an interesting variant of the squat, Lee. You know, I don't see many people doing them in the gym, but if you're at home, this is perfect. perfect. You don't need a spotter, it's safe. Just enough weight to stimulate the muscle. Good. Come on. Man, that's great. Man, I really feel that. Pete. This is great. Come on. For those of you seeing this for the first time, just call it the Lee Haney squat. Woo! I got my <laughs> brain on one, Pete. All right. All right. I'll tell you what, Pete. We'll finish up now. Next, we're gonna go into squats again, but this time we're gonna use a, a different angle. We're gonna do squats using, again, the dumbbell, very simple, and uh, we're gonna use a wider stance. You know, getting the legs out so we can really work the glutes and the inner thigh. Don't look at me like that, Pete. You're gonna do this thing. Let's go. Almost like a Exactly. Exactly, here we go, baby. How's that? Does that look wide Perfect. What is Back it, and steel straight. Squat too? Well, that isn't quite mine. <laughs> I've seen that one. That has been used for a lot of years. You saw that when you were in Japan. A lot of people use the bar, you know. But, you know, uh, the dumbbell, I feel you can isolate a lot more because you're in more control with the grip and so forth. You really feel it's in the hamstrings and in the, uh, the hamstrings. The muscles inside, the inside of the thigh. Exactly. Of the you can also feel it in the glutes. Make sure when you come up, you squeeze. Take your time and squeeze at the top, Pete. That's great. Oh. Yeah. I'm going to try to do at least two sets of these also, two to three. Oh. Reps ranging between 10 to 12. You didn't do but five <laughs> reps, Pete. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Come on, do it. You mean to tell me you learned how to cheat, Pete? That's how I got up where I am. I learned to cheat early. Come on. Come on. All right. You can really concentrate with these two. You can. You really can. You really think about what you're doing, you know? And really link that mind. You must be together. Yes, man. That's right. Come on. Yeah, that's right. Oh, man, that feels super. Come on, finish it off strong, come on. Oh, I think that was strong enough, Pete. Your thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here we go, baby. Come on. I'm not gonna go up too heavy while doing these because this is, a, this is an exercise that does not require a lot of heavy weight. Come on. What a stretch up. Very good, very good. Yeah. Come on, squeeze it out at the top. Come on. Yes! Come on, Pete. Yes! And Pete, I know uh, you being a chiropractor, you would uh, much recommend these than doing, at least trying to attempt squats at home, exactly. which can be very, very dangerous. Sure. You know, that's the one thing about home training. If you don't have don't, a spotter at home. You gotta be real careful. And these two exercises hit the spot. If you like the explosive leg video and you want to pump up the upper body also, then make sure you check out my other two videos, which is Ultimate Chest and the Power Arm Routine. Now that we've hit the upper part of the thigh, it's now time to move down to that stubborn, hard to stimulate area, the calf. So let's get blasting. We're going to be using the hack machine in order to do our tour raises on, okay? Here we go. Let's Are we ready, Ramona? I'm ready. Are you okay, ready? We're going to start with a lighter weight, and then we're going to work our way up, OK? All right. Now, this is a little differently than doing standing toe raising with the bar behind the neck or on the standing toe raise machine. The hack already having a, a slight angle as far as the footing is concerned be perfect. 
You get a very good stretch. Look at those cats. All right, that's so okay, yeah. I want to try to get at least 15 to 18 repetitions because calf is a very stubborn muscle to train. So you have to really pound them in order to get them to grow. Yeah. So you're working higher reps for calves. Exactly. Higher reps for calves. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Right. Looks yeah. like you must pound yours a lot. Yeah. <laughs> as often as I can. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Really get a good squeeze at the top. You gotta really fill it. Beautiful. Squeeze, all right. Now, how many days a week would you train calves if you had stubborn calves? Okay, what I recommend is at least training calves every other day. Every other day. That, that way you're, you're fresh for the next workout. Calves are a muscle that can take that much work. It can, you know, it walks around with you all day and so forth. So it is a very high tolerance muscle. Come on. That's good. And what about um, doing things like rolling to the sides or, you know, off the side of the toe or up on the big toe kind of stuff? Well, for the most part, you want to always keep the toe turned slightly inward. Slightly because in. everyone is able to develop the inner head of the calf. It's always the outer head that gives you the problem. So you turn them in and then roll out. Exactly. You want to keep them, keep them slightly turned in. As far as rolling out, not necessary. Push off the ball of the toe. Okay. Let's add another 35 pounds on each side. Okay. okay. All right. Here we go. Which equals to 70. All right. So you're rocking and rolling. Second set. Oh. All right. Yes. So you're saying it's the outer calf that is the uh, problem that more people have exactly. developing. Exactly. That's why you want to turn the toe slightly inward. I push off the ball of the feet. The ball of the feet. So you, the outer you head stay of the with the weight distribution across the entire foot, but you just change the angle of the foot slightly. Exactly. All right. That's the way you want to do Because, I, yeah, it seems to me you can really work yourself into really tiny little tendon injuries if you get too crazy about a, a, a severe angle. That is training. true. That's very true. Very true. I was just twisting and mm -hmm. pivoting at the top of the movement can be very dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Nice. Okay. okay. You're set. My turn. What do we want to add? 10 here? Yes, sir. Okay, that's right. All right, let's get rolling. Woo, second set. Squeeze it. Squeezing really cold Squeeze. up here, right? That's great. That's great. You got them turning in just right. Really see them work. Really see them work. I can tell that what you've done in the past is right on the money. Because you really have very good, very good sweep to the calf. They're elongated. Mm. I also have a super split here. You can actually see where they're separated. It's good. I want to try to get at least two to three sets of these. Three or four is always better, but due to our time, we're lucky. Okay. Okay, let's... Toss that right on? Exactly. Let's throw the 35 on top of that. Then we're going to add an additional 25 on this side. You animal. You really have to use a lot of weight. We're trying to get these stubborn casts in order to respond. Oh, yes. Woo! If this don't get it, nothing will. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Squeezing out. Yeah. Yeah. Calves are somewhat genetic, yeah. though, too. Yeah, to a certain extent, I wasn't blessed with huge calves, but I had the potential to develop good shapes of calves. Yeah. Did. All right. Okay. You. We're not finished with the calves yet. Now we're gonna move right into seated toe raises on the leg press machine. Then we're gonna move right into standing toe raises, doing one leg at a time. So let's blast them. In order to get them to grow, we have to use a combination of heavy weight and high repetitions. We're gonna begin first with leg press toe raises. And we'll begin using the pyramid principle, starting with a lighter weight and working our way up. Come on, okay? Let's go. All right, Dave. Let's get big calves okay. now. Okay. Come on, Lee. Okay, what we're gonna do first, we're gonna come up to the top and squeeze, and then we're gonna let it down in a controlled way. 
We're gonna pump out roughly around 15 to 18 repetitions. Come on, man, let's go. Push yeah. him out. Come on, Lee. Let's go. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Squeeze him. That's it. Yeah. Come on. Super. Squeeze him. Yeah. Good. Looking yeah. good. Come on. That's it. Make it burn. Yeah. Good. Very good. Come on. Grind him out. Very good. Good. Calves Look are the good. bread and butter physique. You don't have calves, you don't win the contest. You Come know on. that, though, right? That's yeah. it. You gotta have big ones. Let's Come go. On. Come on, Lee. Come on. Work them. That's it. Make them burn. All right. Here we go. You're set. All right. All right. Here we go. Okay, Dave. Okay, get them up. That's it. That's it. Get those feet set. Yeah, turn the toes slightly in. That's good. Slightly in? Slightly in. That's perfect. Okay. That'll help, help bring out the balance in the outer thigh. Everybody can develop an inner thigh, but the outer thigh is really what yeah. uh, makes the calf look great, having that cool development. So you don't find any advantage going the outer? Pushing to the outer or just to the inner? No, just push to just the push inside. To the inner. You know, okay. turning the toes in. Okay. Please turn them straight ahead. Okay. That's the way to get it. Come on, squeeze them. Come on, yeah. Come on, yeah. Come on, squeeze it at the top. Squeeze it at the top, that's good. 15, 18 repetitions. Yeah, it's good, good. That's real good. Try right putting those calves off. That's good. No calves, no contest, right? That's no it. calves, no victory. Let's go. I'll tell you what, let's throw on another 45 pounds, okay? Here we go. You throw it on that end and I'll take care of this side. All right. Super. Come on, Lee, let's go. Got to build those calves. Right, that's right. It's a Winx contest. Championship physique. Got to have calves. Come on, Lee. Yeah. Come on, get right in there. All right. Come on, Lee. Yeah. Good. Yeah, that's it's it. Good, man. Good. Super. Looks good. Come on. Yeah. That's it. Burn. Yeah. Them. Good. Come on, Lee. Grind them. That's yeah. it. Big calves. Yeah. It's Big. Good. Come on. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Come on, Lee. Yeah. Push them out, man. Come on. That's it. Yeah. Good. Come on. Good. Yeah. Good. Come on. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Burn them. Come on. Burn them. Yeah. That's it. Grind it out. Yeah. That's it. Good. Oh, yeah. Good right. set. Super. It's good. Good. All right. All right. Here we go, Dave. Super. Get you up. All right. It's good. <laughs> Woo! Let's go. Your time. Your time. Let's go. All right. Easy way, baby. Easy way. Right. Come on. Get it up right. there. Got to think number one. All right. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> You gotta think number one. Nobody's better. And I like that. I like that. Good, good. Yeah, that's what it's all about. Squeeze them. You're doing great. You're doing great. That's what it's all about. Come on, squeeze them. Yeah. Super. Yeah. Come on, I like that. I like that. Yeah, you're trying to give me a run for my money, right? That's good, good. Come on. Yeah. Come on, get it up. Yeah. Super. Yeah, it's good, good. Where'd it go, Dave? Super good. Tell you what, let's throw another, All let's right. throw a 35 on there, okay? Right. Yeah, let's, let's go, baby. Let's go. Come on. Very important, you know, to use heavy weight when, Come on, when Billy it. needs cast. Very Come stubborn on. muscle. No rest. The Get most right stubborn muscle. Burn them calves. Come on. All right. Come on. Yeah. Let's go. All right, last set, best set. Come on, best yeah. set. This is it. Come on, yeah. Lee. This is it. This yeah. is where they grow. Come on. Yeah. These are the ones that count. Yeah. Come on. Make them work. Yeah. Good. All right. That's All right. it. That's it. Good. Oh. Woo. Good set. <laughs> Help old man up. Get out. All right. All right. Okay. What we'll do next, Dave, let's move on to our uh, single leg toe raises. I'll tell you what. I'll grab a 25-pound plate here. You get, a, get us a 45-pound dumbbell. Yeah, that'll be great. Now, what we'll do here, more or less, Isolate the calf muscle and bring in more quality because we, we work on mass when using the uh, leg toe raises on the leg press. So now we work on a little bit more quality. So just bring it up one leg at a time. Again, turn the toe out slightly, okay? Excuse me, turn the toe in. Here we go. Okay, in. Yeah. That's it, baby. Come on. That's it. Burn them. Yeah, Come on. Burn them. That's it. That's it. You want to come up Good. squeeze at the top. Squeeze it. Really isolate Good. one leg at a time. Come on. Good. Looking good. Come on. That's it. Grind them out. When you have those toes turned in, Dave, you want to 
push slightly off of the ball of the foot. Okay. Yeah. I notice you have your knee slightly bent. Yeah, slightly bent. Okay. That's the way we do it. That way the muscles still involved in movement. Okay. Not so much tendon to joint. Okay? All right. There we go. Come on, Lee. Good. Come on, man. Burn them. We want to try to pump out somewhere between 15 to 18 repetitions. Good. To do 20 doesn't hurt. Yeah. Come on, Lee. Come on, Lee. And sometimes when it gets rough, you can also use the other leg to sort of force in a few extra reps. Good. Come on, Lee. Help you get that squeeze at the top. That's yeah. it. Squeeze them. Burn them. Come on. Burn them. It's getting rough, man. Good. Those are the ones that count. Come on. Woo. Yeah. Come on. Burn it out. Yeah. Burn it out. Good. Real good. All right. All right. Oh, you're set, baby. All right. Let's go. Let's go. You're set. Good. That's good. Good. Yeah, that's good. Squeeze them. That's good. Squeeze them. It's real good. Squeeze them. That's good. Squeeze them. That's good. Squeeze them. It's real good. Squeeze them. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. That's what's going to make you number one. That's good. Come on. <sighs> Come on. <sighs> Come on. <sighs> Come on. <sighs> Come on. Yeah. <sighs> well, this is one muscle that uh, the phrase stimulated, not annihilate, doesn't work for. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you got to annihilate this joke in order to get it to respond. You know, the calf is such a high endurance muscle, which is the reason why we got to go beyond in order to get it to, re to respond. Come on, that's good. Squeeze it. The last exercises for the cast are donkey toe raises. They look a little funny, but believe me, it's excellent for building mass and overall shape for the cast. Rock and roll. Go. Here we go. Come up, squeeze at the top, and let them down slowly. Squeeze at the top, always get that negative in. Yeah. We're looking at doing somewhere between 15 and 18 repetitions. Yeah, well, we want to keep them slightly bent, you know? We don't want to put a lot of stress on the tendons or the joints. So it's always important to keep a little of the muscle involved. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! That's it. Oh, man, that's some rough stuff. <laughs> let's go. That's good. That's good. That's what it's all about. Well... Not a lot, I'll tell you after we finish. Let's go. Yeah. Good, good. All right, make sure you get a good stretch at the bottom. Right, you want to try to keep the feet pointed straight ahead or either slightly turn the toes in to work the outer head of the calf. But for the most part, yeah, keep those knees slightly bent. That'll keep the stress off of the tendons and ligaments. Keep the muscle involved. Good, good, good. 15, 18 reps. As I said, it takes heavy weight and high repetition in order to get the calf to respond. Extremely stubborn muscle. All right, my set again. Okay, last set. All right. Okay, that's it, that, that's enough. I hope you'll be able to walk away from all of us feeling great about your legs. I know I do. Remember, without a totally awesome set of thighs, a good balanced combination of upper and lower body, you'll always be an amateur. Building legs just isn't enough. Get the complete picture from Mr. Olympia, Lee Haney's power arm workout and the massive chest workout, the ultimate way to get that perfect physique. To order, call 1-800-842-4400 and start pumping with Mr. Olympia. I like that.